Hello and today we'll be checking out the OpenCart bulk category upload plugin that basically allows the admin to add the bulk categories in a few clicks and the admin can import and export a bulk number of categories on the store using the CSV, XLS or the XML files and thereby the admin can do a one click export categories for the various OpenCart stores. Also uh, sample files are available in CSV, XLS XLS or the XML formats to import the categories with respective assigned bulk products to each category on the store and the imported files can be of a single language for a single store view or can be uploaded with multiple languages for the multiple store views thereby making it easy and convenient for the admin to upload the uh, bulk categories along with the assigned uh, products for those categories as well so i'll be taking you to the admin backend manner and uh, we'll be showing you the same so right now you can see i'm at the storefront uh, for the open card itself open card platform based web store so here i've already uh, imported uh, two different uh, categories one is the bulk electronics having six products and the bulk kitchen having three uh, products there so you can see that we have the bulk electronics and six products up there and similarly if i go to the bulk kitchen uh, you can see that we have the category with the image and the three uh, products are there for the same now the admin can import as well as export the uh, categories there so for that let's uh, hop onto the admin backend panel and let's see the uh, rest of the flow there uh, but before that please uh, do uh, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end and if you like this particular video do give it a thumbs up there so now let's hop onto the admin backend panel so uh, I'll be logging into the admin backend panel by entering my username and password and then tapping here on the login button that you can see. Now after you've successfully uh, installed this particular plugin that's the mass uh, upload category for the OpenCAD platform based web source, uh, you'll have the mass category, uh, mass upload category option on the side panel here. And if I tap on that, under that we have two different sub options. One is the export category and the other one is import category now before going to these uh, let me show you some initial configurations that are required as well so for that we'll just navigate to extensions and then extensions here we'll be choosing the extension type as modules and here we'll be going uh, to the category mass upload one that we have installed we'll tap here in the edit link and here on the edit category mass upload module uh, configuration settings you can enable or disable this particular functionality for your open platform based web store and you can also set up the keyword uh, if this option uh, the keyword so here you have the option to enable or disable the keyword so if this option enable uh, then the category seo url automatically generates uh, which is empty otherwise uh, if you choose it as disabled then uh, then you'll have to uh, set the category seo seo url manually lastly just tap here on the save button to make the initial configuration settings now let's uh, go to the mass upload category section first let's see how we can export the categories and thereafter we'll be checking the import uh, categories section so uh, let's go to the mass upload so basically uh, the uh, of the option that we have is to export and to import the categories so under the export category uh, the uh, web store admin can download the existing categories from the store and in the case of import category the admin can upload the bulk categories to the so to the store itself so uh, we're on the category um, uh, page as you can see here right now and uh, here we have two different uh, sections or the two different options one is the store and the other one is file so under the store uh, the admin selects the store from where the admin wants to download the categories and under the file here the admin will select the file type for downloading the existing categories from the store so uh, to download uh, the uh, categories from the store uh, you'll have to uh, tap on the export button so we'll we can choose uh, between uh, our different store views as well so i'll choose it as all and the file type in which we, which i want to have this export category uh, data so i'll just choose that as csv xml or xls so any one can be chosen so for example i'll choose it as csv and then you'll have to tap here on the export uh, button and here you can see that the uh, category uh, has been uh, basically exported 
so now let me open the category and show you the details within the same so let's tap here on the category all right so it's just coming up and uh, so that's how you can easily export the categories choosing your store and the type of file in which you want to have that export uh, category data so the file is uh, opening up and here I'll be choosing the delimiter as a comma then I'll just tap here in the OK button and this brings up the data within the same so here you can see that uh, we have different columns here the first one is the category one then the parent ID then we have the uh, catalog image that we want to set up for that particular categories uh, then we have the uh, top column and then we have the sort order for the same then the status whether it's enabled or not and then the uh, product ID uh, uh, column wherein you'll be able to add the product IDs uh, for your respective category that you want to add uh, along with the parent category there and similarly you can add multiple uh, parent IDs and uh, as well as the categories along with the uh, catalog uh, images and then you can set up the uh, sort order and the status for each along with the product IDs or the products that you want to assign to each of these uh, categories that you're going to create and uh, after you've set up this uh, data here you just need to do one more thing that is uh, you'll have to uh, upload this uh, file once again uh, so uh, after you set up all this data you can have it now as uh, the exported one so you can save your uh, exported uh, category there along with uh, the rest of the details of the uh, categories as well so that's how you can do a bulk uh, export of the categories using the csv xml or the xls files uh, now let me give you an example for the xml and the xls files as well so this is the xml file for the categories uh, that we have uh, basically exported so here we have the category then the parent id the image uh, the sort status the product uh, ids that are within that the category filters so and on and on it goes so depending upon what uh, is there uh, for your categories the same data would then be exported as well now for the xls as well you can see that we have the image uh, sort order status product ids within the same category filters then we have the store ids if we have multiple stores there we have the seo url uh, then the name meta title and the rest of the details for the same now uh, let's see how uh, the uh, admin can uh, basically import the categories manually so for that i'll just tap here on the import category button and this brings up the mass upload category section wherein uh, you'll be able to upload a csv xml or an xls file for importing the uh, categories in bulk along with the products and uh, here you also have the option to uh, upload the zip file for the images that would be used there so uh, under the first one you can choose any of the files uh, to uh, import the product and for this you can uh, create a file uh, or a zip file within which you'll be having the images that need to be uploaded along with the same so uh, uh, to download the uh, files what you can do is you can tap here on the download demo uh, link that we have and thereafter the particular one would be uh, downloaded so if I tap here in the uh, demo bulk category upload you can see that we have uh, one uh, bulk category within it we have the uh, multi link language and the single language as well uh, so uh, these uh, category data are for the multi language and the single language as well so if I go to the multi language you can see that uh, we can uh, have we are having basically all the three file types that we can use for importing the products there so we have the csv xls and the xml files now uh, what you need to do is you need to just uh, make use of any one of them that you've selected there so anyone like the csv xls or the xml one so after adding the data to that particular file you just need to upload it here and let me show you the upload images zip file as well so uh, so these are the demo files that you can use uh, for the import of uh, categories there so let me open this uh, one first the csv one and then we'll be checking what different columns are there for the uh, store admin to uh, set up so uh, it's just coming up in a moment okay i'll be choosing it as a comma okay and uh, here we are so basically here we have given an example for the same as well wherein you can set up your product id the image uh, uh, image uh, name uh, whether you want to have a top and then the column the sort order for the uh, 
for the categories the status whether they are enabled or disabled you can set up the uh, product IDs that would be within that particular uh, category uh, then you can also set up the uh, category filters you can choose the store ID if you are having multiple stores there and similarly you'll be able to set up the SEO URL uh, for the electronics and kitchen as i would already shown you these two at the storefront a while ago in the initial of this particular video so uh, we had uh, five uh, uh, products within the electronics and uh, we had uh, three in the uh, kitchen there similarly you can set up the uh, name uh, and according to uh, your store views if you have multiple languages then you can use it in for example French and Great Britain English uh, then you can set up the meta title meta description of the categories there and uh, after that you can set up the description of the category as well uh, depending upon if you are using a multi category one uh, multiple language uh, file there so basically this one is a multi uh, lingual file and similarly you'll have to enter the uh, uh, for example you have uh, the meta title and the meta description so for each you'll have to choose uh, for example here we have the uh, Great Britain and French so uh, the description uh, basically needs to be in Great Britain and if the description is on, in French then we have to enter the description in French as well on that other column there and after you've added the uh, details here uh, within this particular category uh, you'll have to save it and then upload back uh, there so I'll just show you that uh, but before that uh, uh, let's go back so this was the multi-language uh, demo file that we are providing there you can fill up the details uh, within each of these uh, uh, so any file can be chosen there so let's go back so uh, for the single language we also have the csv xls and xml file so you can uh, do the same here as well and lastly we have the image dot zip file that should be a zip file and within that you just need to have a image folder and that will contain all of the images that are required there so these are the images that you just saw in the uh, csv file a moment ago it was after the parent id we had the images so this is the one dot jpg two dot jpg so the exact name should be there within the uh, csv xls or the xml file column uh, demo file that's the demo bulk category and the images zip file and you can make use of them to uh, basically import your categories along with the products uh, according to the show waves as well now uh, let's go back to the admin backend panel so uh, after you've uh, chosen any of the files from these and you have added the data for your uh, categories there you just need to upload it by tapping here and upload that particular file for example if I tap here in the upload button I'll have to choose uh, my uh, what we say as the uh, file there that we had uh, downloaded so for example I have this multilingual one the categories there I'll just double tap on that to select that and similarly we'll have to upload the images zip file as well so I'll just tap here in the upload and uh, we'll be going to back and we'll be choosing the zip file. So this one is the zip file. This one is the CSV file for the categories. And thereafter, you just need to tap here on the save button to proceed further and import the products uh, there using your uh, particular file that you had chosen in bulk and very easily. And after the successful uh, import you will find your bulk kitchen bulk electronic categories or the ones that you have edited within those files eh, along with the images as well so well uh, that was much about the open cart uh, bulk category upload plugin i hope it helped you out in understanding the flow of the same if you still have any questions queries or suggestions you can always get back to us at support at the of webcool.com or you can also raise a ticket at webcool.ubdesk.com apart from that if you uh, if you want to have a look and a hands-on on this particular plugin then you can check the user guide live demo and the store link that i've just added within the description below of this particular video and uh, lastly please do give it a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, 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 and lastly uh, thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead